already indicated that the 2023 budget is going to be extremely pivotal and important. Two or three clear things that I need to be seen in the budget. One, what the government is going to do to address the debt sustainability issues. Because this is really at the core of where or some of the economic challenges that we're facing now and even the IMF um, negotiations that are still uh, ongoing. On the expenditure side of the equation, what are we doing to ensure that we live within our means? Places like the Office of Government Machinery, as per what we can actually raise, right? So there might be some expenditure rationalization. There might be some cuts to, to spending across the board, and it will really be to be interesting to see how deep and how far these cuts are, are likely uh, to, to go. Then on the revenue side of the equation as well, uh, we're interested to see what new revenue proposals the government is, is bringing. Last budget, there was talk about property rates or property taxes. I think we need to see something more tangible in terms of how this could be uh, actualized. The e-levy that has been extremely controversial, but also really hasn't delivered the goods. Uh, we're interested to see whether or not the rate would be brought down, because the evidence is very clear on this, that if the government brought down the rate, it's actually likely to collect a little bit more, despite even some of us you know, being strongly or philosophically even against it in the first place, because we think it's a bit of a, of a tax grab of people's, you know, um, savings. So, so those are some of the things that many market watchers, including myself, are looking out for clear, tangible, measurable plans to balance the books and to restore debt sustainability, specifically on the expenditure side of the equation and then on the revenue side uh, of the of the equation as well, including even, you know, some of the issues about the the reform of the state-owned um, enterprises.